Hello friends, this video on organic chemistry part 35 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll study types of organic reaction. Please pay attention, it's a very critical topic. So there are various types of organic reaction. The first one is substitution reaction. In substitution reaction, we have electrophilic substitution, we have nucleophilic, in nucleophilic we have SN1, SN2. We have more actually, but we'll study SN1 and SN2 only. Then we have free radical substitution reaction also. In addition reaction, we have electrophilic addition, nucleophilic addition, and free radical addition. Similarly, in elimination reaction, we have even unity reaction, then we have condensation reaction, rearrangement reaction, and pericyclic reaction. We will study all these reactions. Let's understand the concepts of organic reactions. So to understand, I am assuming electrophiles to be men and nucleophiles to be women. Just I consider electrophiles to be men with a positive charge and nucleophiles men with a women with a negative charge. There is no reason why I took these guys as, uh, guys as electrophiles and girls as nucleophiles, just I took in that. So let's assume this guy is a rich guy, rich and powerful. And this guy is a common man. Just from the figure you can say, this lady is again, if you see, rich and powerful. And this is a common lady reaction. Common lady. Right? So the rich, so given between these two, this rich guy is more priority. So common man, less priority. Rich lady, more priority. And this lady, poor lady, I mean common ladies, less priority. Right? This is the, uh, what do you call it? dummy thing which will be used to explain the concepts of organic reaction. So let's start with the substitution reaction. So it inv involves replacement of a group or atom. For example, a rich lady and a common man were sitting, right? This common guy and a lady is sitting. So now this rich and influential guy came. He wanted to sit. They were sitting in a bench in a park, right? This guy wanted to sit in this place. So since he's rich, his influential, he will be able to displace him. And that's why I'm talking about substitution reaction. Where, if you see, this rich guy will kick him out, right, and will sit. So here, the rich guy has substituted a poor guy, a common guy. This happens in the normal scenario also, right, the very powerful person comes and you will be seen, right. So same thing. So there's a bond, the bond is nothing but in a bench, you see, you, you think of, you no know, these, these two carbon position actually. There is a bond between them, right? There is a bond actually. So, so there is a bond, they are two are here. So one poor fellow was here, one rich guy came and he kicked the non-powerful guy out and he got the seat. Because this guy is more powerful. Same thing in the reactions also, right? So when a strong nucleophile or electrophile, right, which will come and can kick a weak one. For example, in this case, if the common lady comes, he may not be able to kick her. But if a power, more powerful lady comes, she can kick this lady, right? It all depends on which is, who is more powerful. So this kind of reaction is called substitution reaction where the powerful attacking reagent replace one atom, correct? So it's a replacement of atom or a group by a powerful reagent. For example, in this case, if you see, I have this methane and this chlorine. Chlorine is a powerful guy. It could kick out this hydrogen, the poor guy hydrogen, it kicked out hydrogen and chlorine got this place here. Correct. Same thing, right? So this powerful guy kicked out, this, this guy is let's suppose chlorine and this guy is hydrogen, right? This guy is a common guy, this guy is a powerful guy. So chlorine kicked out hydrogen. Correct. This is an example of substitution reaction where you replace a powerful group. I mean, it is a weak group with a powerful or a weak atom with a powerful atom. Right? And there are various types nucleophilic substitution, electrophilic substitution, or free radical substitution. So let's study these things. So let, let's study the uh, electrophilic substitution reaction concepts first. So you see, in electrophilic substitution reaction, as I told, the attacking reason is electrophile. So as I told, this guy was my electrophile I mean, in nature. So let's suppose I have got an electrophile here. Similar thing, this is electrophile. Right, and it's powerful. This guy should be able to kick out this. Huh? 
guy, right? So this is the guy. So, so this is the, this is the guy. This will try to kick a guy, not a girl, because they want to maintain the balance, right, of the bond in the bench. So this guy will kick out this weak guy. So since this was electrophile, it electrophile is generally positive charge, so they will kick out. Okay, this is this, this charge. Okay. This electrophile kicked out. Because if you see this has a hydrogen attached, so electrophile kicked out this hydrogen from here and it will attach it. Correct. So we can have more examples of this kind of reactions. For example, again I have a benzene. So let me use some electrophiles here. And let me use nitric acid here, which will give me NO2 plus, which is an electrophile. And let's suppose there is a hydrogen here. This electrophile will attack this carbon, kick out this hydrogen from here and it will form NO2. This is also an example of electrophilic substitution because the attacking agent is an electrophile. One more example I have, same benzene. And let's use AlCl3 here, so which will have C2H5 plus. This is C2H5 plus is my methyl is ethyl is my Electrophile. So this will again attack this carbon, kick out this hydrogen, and it will form C2H5. So in both cases, you will get H plus. Here also you'll get H plus output, right? The one which is kicked out. So this is an example of electrophilic substitution reaction. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.